In this seventh video, we'll move a punch quickly and then we'll be creating the V notch. Let's move this punch and apply that. Uh, we'll be creating the V-notch in the skeleton. You can see that only half of the V-notch is there in the cutoff area. You see a bunch of errors over here, don't worry. Let's see they're cleaned up already. The V-notch uh, needs to get applied to the skeleton solid body too. Right now it's only on the part solid body. Okay, and yes, let's update the strip information. It doesn't take too much longer. When you don't need to know, well, I won't get into it, but sometimes we just, usually we just answer no to the update and then we exit instantly and we're not waiting for five or 10 seconds. Okay, so there you can see that it's only in half of the part and we need to add it to the skeleton. So, let's see. I haven't done this before. Let's edit the skeleton and then we'll offset the surfaces that are in the part. Zero, which copies them. So now they are in the skeleton part file that we're editing. Okay, let's see. Uh, bum, bum. Let's mirror that uh, surface that we just offset and we'll use the edge of the part right here and right click and it's there. And then we will open this part. We'll edit it in its own window. We will edit it in its own window. And let's hide that solid body so we've only got this to work with. Now you can see that there's a reference entity so it's referencing something else not an entity but a reference external reference to something else so let's grab all of these and we're going to use the logo press 3 faces merging and now we've got just a dumb imported surface and now we can get rid of these external references so they're not there to cause us any problems or cause any performance degradation And we'll put that surface imported up at the top of the list because that's where I'm going to put this cut. Again, I've not done this before, but I'm pretty sure that this is the best way to do it. Quite certain, in fact, because I could have rolled back up to there, but pretty easy to drag that up. There we go. Okay. So now we'll take that surface imported and delete it. So there you've got those three features that we use to create that and the couple that we got rid of. And let's add those to a folder and name it so we know what's in that folder. The other folders, all of them beneath this one, those are all automatically generated and updated by LogoPress 3. It's incredible. Okay, and so now we've got it only in the first part because that's a configuration and all these other parts it's all the same part, but they're all different configurations. So as we make cuts, we automatically create configurations. So what happens is these three items are only in this configuration. They're suppressed by default in all other configurations. So we've got this LogoPress 3 
command to unsuppress on all of the following stations and it's that easy and now every configuration was just automatically unsuppressed and we'll rebuild before we save collapse and as you can see our strip layout is coming along very nicely it's nice to be able to show the previous station on the selected step here you can see there it's up 90 and here we're looking at the the spring back and in the next video we will continue doing this complex form punch